Welcome back to Oper Operancia the Stolen Sun playthrough. Well, let's continue. Oh, I don't need to load the game, I just need to resume. A secret room with treasure and nothing here to kill us. Who says Operancia has totally gone to hell? Ooh, you got an axe. Sure, uh, I wonder if... right here. He can use a bow. Definitely. Oh. Mm, the axe is not that much better. Can't use an axe. Which you can't use an axe. Okay. Oh, what's this? Let's find some something called a jewel. I remember. Just like a coin type of thing. This. It's an item, okay. the coffin of a king Attila and with him his legendary sword that destroyed the mighty dragon died who so believes the aged warrior the aged warrior known as Sebastian then again it could just uh, easily be a death trap now couldn't The companions entered the tomb with an optimistic sense of wonder. It did not last. With no warning, an unseen foe slammed the door shut behind them. And then, silence. Pure darkness. We're going to die in here. But then... Well... At least we won't die in the dark. 
A spirit haunts us. A female spirit, not Attila. Look, straight ahead. Could it be? We can rest here, but we don't need It's rusted, but I'd recognize that long sword anywhere. Do stay at rest, Chieftain Uma. put some time into these elaborate door dial systems. Good thing we still have that vial. Don't look at me. I don't have that key. Alright, let's grab this and quickly, quickly go. We know. I wonder, did we get anything, any new stuff? skeleton looks formidable. I'm glad it's not trying to kill us. Call him Und, and he very likely will. Why are you keeping us waiting then, Und? Get on with it. Top of the coffin. If you're reading this, you certainly die soon. So allow yourself one story of amusement. We'll call it the head at, heads at top of the coffin before you own invaluable demise. Attila sought uh, volunteers, a brave individual willing to give up her own life so that his beloved Queen Rekka may 
Forever rest in peace. For the request of our leader almost himself, that honor went to the four of us. He, we have already achieved greatness in life, and now we may do so in death. It is happy to live on, but funky for a foreseeable future, not to mention advanced stage. The enchantment cast upon the four of us will soon take hold of our remains. We will lie in wait for further intruders. Yes, I did say further intruders. Do you have already dared trespass upon the queen as we live and write uh, with words? Though means unknown to any of us, they entered this under underwater tomb in hopes of great treasure. They found only death, just as you will. Any who read this. They begged for their lives, and we obliged them involve, involving some Admi admittedly cruel sorcery. Before my blade removed the head of one intruder as Haba Adal the second, the Tohatom set a hex insurance they would not die until the four of us did. Yeah, we took the bodies of Yordi and Kuzi and placed them both in, the, in a coffin along with their own belongings. Tohom assured the rolling faces that should both their heads ever manage to land on top of this particular coffin, they would get their bodies back was no lie. We enjoyed giving them a, a sporting chance. It, it resulted in a finer uh, entertainment than anything told by most uh, charismatic Daltos. Knew the decapitated head could leap so high, neither head will ever reach the top, but much to our benefit they shall also never stop trying. As days go by, our flesh rots away. They are particularly, they particularly just calls at this point. We sacrifice our final years of seeing our beloved Apprentia in its prime under the rule of one great man, but this is a, is a sight to no one else else we'll ever see. It has all been worth it. On. Interesting. There could be no doubt. This is not only the tomb of Queen Draca, but also of four of the seven great chieftains. They are seated around us. I know this is difficult for you, Sebastian. Just as I know what must be done at any cost. Now, onward. We look upon the remains of Tohoton, a great chieftain of the Seven Tribes. I enjoyed viewing his sorcery in my youth. I hope not to see it in action once more. Skeleton archers confound me. How did they aim with no eyes? Alas, Tosh. He could bullseye anything while blindfolded. I'd like to stay on his good side, then. Pleasure to meet you, Tosh. I almost forgot about our friend, the Persnickety Perennial. Alright. Party skills. Activate extremely powerful party skills by recharging them through the use of unique skills from corresponding spheres. Once a uh, party skill has been recharged, you are free to use it at any time. Hmm. Wind combo. Ah, okay. uh, chilling arrow. Garb. Fire, shoots a fire to deal with the Easy shot. We'll do somersault. Alright. And... Somersault again. One down. Uh, let's freeze all them. And with the turtle up.
there. Let's see what can we do here. Giant mushrooms. It's almost comedic the way the, this ferocious fungi parade around this tomb, but they then they attack me, poison me, electric, electrify me. I'm not laughing so much. I'm no microbiologist, but I believe we're looking at a maliciously mutated version of red Amania muscaria, blue lanterns, indigo, tiny bug and person, mycena, carticola, and well, what to call ones that shoot lightning. Electro Comba? Electro Goomba. I like the sound of that, okay. Of course, that's not possible that the great force linked to the underworld has caused this infestation. But I don't think that the case, that that's the case. We would have seen them on the surface where the mushrooms are more likely to offer a handy snack in a time of need. No, I posit that this uh, indeed enchanted fungi designed to protect the stone, specifically its rural inhabitants. Inhabitant like yes, yeah, okay. It's an honor to fight me. Missed somehow. Ha <laughs> 
Resurrection spell now. All right, you got this one. Nothing quite like a real battle. No key, no entry.
Okay, uh, I'm going to need to do this. Let's freeze them all. Don. Fire. 
Understandable. I wish I excelled at things other than taking life. Bastion. Yes, I stole the uh, amulet of Zodmund from him, and yes, I may have been, been, uh, been the truth when explaining our last encounter to the dear Hadrimar. I just has never fought out see the old rogue Sebastian again. But now, here we are in the tomb of the Dead Royal Adventure together. Must be dying together. How oddly, oddly poetic. Like bad poetry. And for what? A store that's crazy old uh, autos, they come in no other form. Told him he needs to deliver to the one who will bring light into the darkness. I hope we find this person soon. We could use some light around here in Oprensia these days. From what I little I have seen of the old man in combat, some of it on the other end of the thing. The rather fascinating war. He's a sure shot with a bow and he's amazingly quick. I've seen a fine soldiers one third of his age move like a dead Zoldek in comparison. I'm just not going to show him that kind of respect to his face. It's uh, way more fun to act like I despise him. He did knock me out after all. As, mu as much reason as he has to see me as an enemy, I get the feeling Sebastian does actually accept me as a teammate. Perhaps he even likes me.
You are correct, Master. This is not Archer's tomb. This is where he buried his own son of the Red Stars. Queen Vega. I have no doubt. And she's already introduced herself to us. That's not all that concerns me. It fits. But is it properly placed? Two more. There must be a chest here somewhere. find some place to rest we need to before we can continue on we need to recover all the stuff you said your name is Sebastian right as in Sebastian the Dragon Slayer Thank you. 
of every aspiring child who showed himself the body of God. So a story inventing a theory gained popularity and it is big for all parents. Interesting. Yes, it is interesting. But also a little disappointing. I was hoping the way you was as a bastard of the dragon's head. With any luck, young Jose, you will help me find the sword that slain the greatest dragon of them all. Alright, let's see. Bredela Brew. Boost hit chance and initiative, okay. You, you use plants as sedative and poisonous, okay. First ingredient cannot be fungus nor petal. Oh, the roots of crop, right? Second ingredient cannot come from woodland nor from the war front nor the field. So, the second ingredient. Can we be woodland, or from the field, it's mountain, okay. The green from the field... ...can be a crop. One from the mountain cannot be poisonous, okay. Field goes here. Uh, sedative goes from the mountain. So, the first ingredient cannot be fungus or petal. Fungus or petal? So then, roots is the first one, uh, crop is the second one, there we go. And this one is poisonous. Alright. Old fire, ooh, this is good. We'll get this one definitely. All right. So clues, uh, roots, and healing greens are not necessary for this potion. Okay. First, put in a uh, first put in a sedative. Last, add an antibiotic. Okay. So sedative here. Antibiotic last. Okay. The fungi has to be put in culture immediately after the battle. Okay. That doesn't give you much. The crop you have not have to use it. Not poisonous nor antibiotic. Have to use is not poisonous nor antibiotic sedative. To the last ingredient, the mountain plant, you'll have to use one from the war front. The last ingredient is mountain. The uh, war front goes here, okay. Don't use a plant from the field. There's no roots. Okay, so this has to be poisonous. So crop goes into here. Looks like. Don't use a plant from the field. Fungus and petal. Yes. Got it. Oh, this adds to the strength. Maybe he should have it then. That's to the bigger.
All right. I'd say keep your guard up, but I just want you dead. I never caught your name. through his roots? Yes, everyone knows trees only speak through their mouths. I mean, the flame is called, so I'm not big on this guys. Um...
covered, dude. Two doors and one dial. How do we get into both? And a long sword, okay. Yeah, maybe we give him a leather shield and a short sword this way. Hmm. No steel life, yeah, that's pretty good. Increase the poison resistance. Here. Mizzy, allow me to push you through that small hole. It will hurt, but I feel it will lead to riches. I'd rather we pursue another option and come back later. Yushka, allow me to push you through there. Mizzy is right. There will be another option.
red skull. Want to see again. a magic show. this guy. Launch and use the same person's check to see a block channel. Yeah, we'll take flank. its wisdom for purposes of uh, defense against different elements.
All right. Oh, this door is the only one that's not open yet. No key, no entry.
almost I thought I might ambush him, but no, I didn't. Beware! A skull in this tomb, not on fire and out to kill us.
I didn't live this long by failing in battles. All right, that didn't do anything. Okay. Okay, and let's see what else. What vile sorcery powers these doors? Lightning itself? A malfunction? Or a trap? Ow! What vile sorcery powers these doors? Lightning itself? A malfunction? Or a trap? Maybe let's go look at Sebastian. Uh, and equipment wise, we're pretty good. I'll take the this one because it deals damage to all enemies. Let's see. Let's uh, pick up his agility more. Good.
It does fit nicely there, doesn't it? If nothing else, it makes for a tidier tomb. If Attila went through all this trouble of safely buried, I truly must have fought the world. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe. The truth is, we really don't know. There just isn't that much out there about their actual relationship. As opposed to the volumes written on this copious compilation of many women. To be fair, Attila did appear to be faithful to Rika for as long as their marriage lasted, until she died young. And how did that happen? She grew ill. It is said she asked to spend her final days in the Great Forest, a place she quite loved. Attila was aware of this and arranged for his troop to be theirs. I do suppose it says something of his feelings for her, that he went to such lengths to protect her remains. Was this too someone else's before? Explains the other coffins, I suppose. Or maybe he was just prepared for our coming. Once I'm ruthlessly slaughtered by family, please place me in the first extra coffin on the sword. It had a nice room. Never know this star all of it was a gear just to look at it. What a beautiful piece. Just one more cluster. You hear that? We're almost there. Right, you got work on his strength then. And this guy's agility thing.
there. I hear can mean only one thing, the wrath of four great chieftains I once called family. Well, if you want to keep this reunion a private affair, old man, you know we'd understand. Um, toss, turtle, move on. If any of you can hear me, know who sent us to for only the most noble of reasons. That's a really big if there, old man. There's as much soul left in those moments as any other moments of skeletons terrorizing for what else in these days. You're right. I don't like it, but I know you're right. Well, the natives be more intelligent, but they're more formidable than any we've faced before. That just means their bones crack on. Also, a bit more health boost. Okay, the potions also, I think. I hit how I push up. Damn it. heal him. He's literally thanking for all of us. He will be now. Okay. Gonna burn him. Oh, we did do it. 
still managed to get him. Uh, let's pull help from this guy towards us. They entered the crypt, and then, fright, in its purest form, I it gripped about... their hearts, it held them in place, and moments later, a voice of legend spoke. My power petrifies you, you cannot move. How boring. I release you. Queen Raker, we thank you for your mercy. Mercy? This can't be good. Holding you in place will not kill you. And long have I waited for another chance to fire this bow. My queen, we mean you no harm. I do not feel the same. This is Damn unbelievable. It. I know I'm sheltered, but how does one kill a ghost? If she can kill us, we must be able to kill her, right? We cannot kill her. So we join her in the afterlife then. Perfect. No, a corporeal apparition can be defeated, same as you or me. They simply expire once exhausted. Expire? How do you know this? Experience? Well, I'm convinced. I can't think of a more convenient place to die than in a tomb. I have seen you fight. We will not perish. Alright, that didn't work. Kill our mage caster. Okay, so... None of that worked. Uh... Taunt, uh, so that actually and that's not good. Okay. All right. And we 
gonna be screwed right now. No way this one guy can that before entering the Hopefully load up and we be able to do this better. Yeah, so we're not gonna do this. That was a silly idea. We're gonna rest. We're also gonna brew another potion. Yeah, restores energy. That's the one that we want. Plant from the mountain and if water front cannot be used. Okay. Said the plant is not from the woodland. It's not true. Put the crops in the cauldron first, okay. Crops are first. And then healing root second. Okay, so root second healing. So then we got sedative here. Is not sedative is not from woodland, so then woodland woodland is here. And the other one would be then field, right? Yes, we got. Alright, let's rest. Get back up to the full strength. Frost damage with this thing. Maybe I should take that. Sadly, I cannot switch. Uh, who carries what? All right, let's try this. They entered the crypt, and then I fought. already had that. This is unbelievable. I know I'm sheltered, but how does one kill a ghost? If she can kill us, we must be able to kill her, right? We cannot kill her. So we join her in the afterlife, then. Perfect. No, a corporeal apparition can be defeated, same as you or me. They simply expire once exhausted. Expire? How do you know this? Experience? Well, I'm convinced. Well, I can't think of a more convenient place to die than in a tomb. I have seen you fight. We will not perish. <laughs> All right. 
right. Stunting us. Some assault on him. Didn't go that well. Okay, he's gonna. Yeah, help. damage to her it looks like from this one yes now we can heal our main caster so he can uh, do frost on her might as well stuff back to the uh, magic fire
not good. Brasser. And let's burn her. This guy might be able to end this. That didn't work. Okay, trot, trot, come on. Yes. Oh, that did it. Ooh, somebody got level up, I think. Did we just expire her? <laughs> Allow me to thank you. Being at peace is so. It honors us that we were able to uh, abuse you, Milady. But alas, we had hoped to fight the sword of Attila. The fate of Operencia is at stake. Might you know where to find it? No. Only he who crafted the blade would sense its power. Hador? But he lives in the upper world. The land of the gods. How will we get there? If your quest is as noble as you claim, then fate will lead you. First, fate needs to lead us out of this place. All this exposure to malevolent mushrooms is causing hallucinations. We honestly think we're talking to a royal wraith who told us to visit a god. Take this arrow, use it to escape this tomb, and leave me in peace. My power fades, he will not see me again. Good luck, heroes. It's not every day a ghost calls me a hero. Anyone, for that matter. I see you as a hero, Yoshka. Why, thank you, Maze. Enough flattery. We must find a way to Hador. Before we find that uh, way. Such a demanding deciduous. If you rob from the Queen's tomb, there will be no reward for you. In fact, I will send you to your own tomb myself. Meze is showing some backbone. I can always come back when this is all over. Alright, let's see. Got some better weapons now. The looks of it, uh, great. Take them more initiative. Well, this guy does need more initiative actually. Okay. 
got the set, so this will work for him. Yeah, we're gonna keep uh I think that's good enough. Okay, let's do this uh talent points. Who this adds to his initiative? That his defense though. That's also pretty So let's see what we can do here. Let's do lightning damage bonus for now. Yes, we do poison enough. Let's do that. And him. Let's have his critical chance. unlock it eventually. I think that's fine. Alright. So... Add a bit to his wisdom so he can withstand attacks. Let's add this with this guy's uh, strength. And to this guy's uh, trilogy. And to his wisdom. Okay, good. seen a keyhole shaped like an arrow before. Queen Rekha's marksmanship surpasses even my own. It makes sense that one of her arrows provides passage outside once more. None of this actually makes any sense, but who am I to argue? As the companions departed the tomb of Reiko, a stranger crossed their path. He wore the rags of a common peasant, and the exhaustion of a man running for his life. If you gentlemen seek to rob me, I assure you I have nothing but my life to give. But on the contrary, 
What happened to you? A three-headed dragon has invaded the middle world once more. Like Thade? Slayed by Attila? Decades ago? Whatever its name, it tore my village apart. My wife, my children, gone. I may be the only one who survived. That's terrible. You're welcome to join us. If you don't mind traversing a path of relentless near certain death. Well, you certainly seem armed well enough to handle any threats. What brings you here? We aim to bring back the sun. Somehow. Sounds impossible. But noble. Far too dangerous for a simple man like me. I am headed to the Deva Fortress, not far from here. I'll be safe there. And perhaps its army can help with the dragon. We understand. Good luck on your travels, stranger. Sharkos. What? The name is Sharkos. May our paths cross again, Sharkos. They will. Yes, I believe they will. Farewell. A most curious encounter, that. He won't make it to Deva on his own. No way. We must hope for the best for him. And focus on the quest of our own. Your assistance in the tomb was greatly appreciated. My bow is yours. At least until I figure out how to reach the land of the gods. Perhaps Sebastian could use the merchant's guidance as well. The merchant, you say? Of course. It's been years. You know him? Yes, I know the merchant. And I already know you are in for a great surprise. Let's go. They arrived at the merchant's hut, where Sebastian introduced his companions to an elderly woman named Elia. Elia? This is the merchant of the woods. You were expecting a man, weren't you? Yes, and someone less wrinkled, with a shop full of weapons. Forgiving Yoshka's indelible charm, he does have a point. Were you robbed? Allow me to show you something. The old woman reached into a brown leather bag beside her. She revealed a fine blade. My gift to you. The rest will require a fee. Thank you kindly, but your bag is clearly empty. What more have you to sell? Empty? Is it now? She reached into the bag and retrieved a bow. Once more, a spear. A third time, a shield. The group stood in silence as she returned all three items to her bag. Her empty bag. I don't believe it. This bag reveals items as readily as said items are ready to be revealed. It is that simple. Years later, your literal bag of tricks still amazes me. I will provide weapons and armor. I ask only for fair payment. Well, you speak as though you plan to join us. You fear I will slow you down? Let's just say you don't. The question remains, where the hell are we going? We're off to find the sun and send the old man to the god who crafted a legendary sword. A god I'm not so sure I believe in in the first place. Oh, Hador is very real. The firesmith king of the Copper Forest. Do you know how to reach him? No, but I do know who can. We must go. As they left the great forest, the old woman revealed their destination, a fortress known as Barvanush. There, they would find a Taltosh to lead them to the land of the gods. After many miles of complaints from Yoshka, they reached a bridge. A very broken bridge. This should not be like this. No, it should not. A woman drew near. She spoke in a somber tone. 
a tone of great loss. A curse has claimed this path. More curses? And who are you? I'm Kella of the Stonemasons Guild. Well, formerly. Hey, your reputation precedes you. Even I know of the Stonemasons. We built Deva Fortress, but not without sacrifice. Great sacrifice. Yes. A dark enchantment created this castle. And a dark enchantment has ripped it apart. Going around Deva will cost us days. Then we still pass through it. No, you don't. Not without a fight. A very supernatural one at that. We're really not done fighting ghosts, are we? Ha! <laughs> if it means fulfilling our quests, I should hope not. Very well then. I will join you. For there is much more to tell. Hmm. Do we get five people or is it only four people? That is a max. The former leader of the legendary stone masons of Apprentice has promised much more to tell regarding the enchanted tragedy of their fortress. But what could that be? All you know at this point is that this place totally creeps you out. And then they followed an old woman and a mason into a haunted castle. No one is ever going to believe this. The swirling whirlwind atop this castle. What was that, Keller? Our destination. My hammer, Stoneheart, is locked in place there. Without it, I'm not only useless to you, I'm also unable to live the castle's curse. We need only pass through. Yet. You will not pass without the curse being lifted. And lift it we shall. Are you ever going to tell us what actually happened here? Yes, at least what I know. But let's get moving first. Do you think we'll see the villager we spoke to? He said he was headed to Diva. Then he was headed toward his doom. No great loss. There was something off about him. While you could use some lessons in empathy, I also tend to agree with your assessment of his persona. Something off, indeed. Alright, so that's it for now.